the modified trench coat made easy. I'll show you how. The trench coat is everywhere for fall and I just want to make this easy for you and fun. So there's some different versions I've seen out there. Finally, this one just sealed the deal. I just thought I got to do a trench coat. So pattern number 1925 is what I'm using. I'm going to look at the pattern pieces with you so you can, I can tell you what I'm leaving out and I'm just going to go by number. I am doing the front, the back, the sleeve and the front facing. I'm using a fabric that is, two sides are incredible. This is a, a jacquard that we have on our site. Both sides are usable. I'm not going to line it. And I'll show you why it makes sense that I'm not going to line it here in a little bit. Um, I'm using three different fabrics that I'm combining. This is so much fun. I saw this trench coat. I'm telling you, I just loved it. So the pieces that I'm not using, obviously, any of the lining pieces. Then I'm, let's see, where's the pieces? Here we go. I'm not using any of the lining pieces. I'm using the front, the back, upper sleeve, under sleeve, the collars. I'm using the flap and the pocket. I'm going to put a pocket on it. I'm going to use one of the rain shields in the front. Well, there's only one. The front and then the back. I'm going to use those. I'm not going to use any of the belts. I'm not using any of the pleats. I'm not using the belt loops. I'm not using the lining pieces, any of them. And I'm using the front facing. All right, so those are the pieces I'm using. And I'm gonna go over each one in because I'm gonna show you how all these fabrics combine together. So the back piece I'm using is the jacquard. This is like a blue and black jacquard. Then also what I'm doing, and I'm gonna cut this out and I'm showing it to you. I'm going to cut a, a rayon knit, a black rayon knit, the same as the back, except it's not the same. If you notice, I'm pulling it out two inches here at the bottom, three inches, sorry, three inches at the bottom. When I cut out the back, I shortened the front, the back, and the front lining. I shortened them all by 10 inches. So turned it up. You can see it's turned up here, but I still cut the center back one inch lower than that because I wanted it to have a curve at the back. The back of it has a little bit of curved. So now when I'm cutting out this black rayon, I'm cutting it out the same as the back, except what I've done is I've pitched the, and it's on the fold, I've pitched the back way out three inches away. And the reason I've done that is because it's a light fabric and underneath it's going to be loose. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a section of the back. I'll show you that in just a minute. But before you do that, do it in this order. Cut the back, cut out this little, the lightweight, the black rayon knit. And so that is done. That is done here. I'm going to fold that together. And then I wanted to show you what I'm going to do to the back. This is the back of the trench. Now, out of, out of the jacquard, I've cut the front, the back. I've cut the welt lining, the welt pocket, because it doesn't make any difference. But when I opened my coat, I wanted it to all be the same fabric. So I'm using the same. Then the upper and under sleeve and the front facing. Those I cut out of my jacquard, I used two yards. Then I came in with a coordinating black, not the black rayon, but a more substantial black, and I'm doing the ties. Now, these ties are like the belt. I'm using the belt, but I'm only making them 12 inches in length. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna come across the back and they're going to pull the back in just slightly, and I'm gonna use the belt buckle that comes in this little trench coat kit. We sell this little trench coat kit. It's got all your buttons. Um, I'm using, everything. I'm not using the two little buckles on the sleeve, but this is a little two inch buckle that comes in the kit. And that's going to be for my belt in the back is what I'm going to use that for. Now I used a yard of this black fabric. It coordinates with both all the, all of them tie in together. They both, they all look great. Um, so that's the belt. It's only 12 inches in length again, because it's just going to come to the back. 
then what I'm doing is I'm playing with the blacks. I'm using the black for all the contrasting, not for the under collar, because when I put the under collar up, I want it to be the jacquard, so that's the jacquard, but the upper collar is going to be the black. The collar stand is going to be the black, the whole thing. Then the rain shield on the front is going to be the black, so I'm going to get all this beautiful contrast. The pocket is going to be the black. Now, what I was going for was this piece. This is the rain shield in the back, and that's where it goes on the back. All right, so it goes like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the back, and I'm going to take my French curve. I'm going to put it at 22 right here at center back, and I want to cut out three inches in. So I'm going to put it at 22 there. I'm going to put this at three, and I'm going to cut this out of my trench coat back. So recognize that what's going to show is, and it's going, it come, it's going to start right below my trench coat. I mean, right, I'm sorry. It's going to start right below the shield. This part's going away. And, and again, I put the 22 right below where the shield was, and I brought it down to, to nothing, three inches in from center back. So what's going to happen is because I'm going to sew the black rayon underneath, the whole, the whole back is going to be two layers. It's going to be the black rayon. But because this is cut out, the fullness of the black rayon is going to peek through. It's beautiful. Now, the only thing I'm going to do to finish this is I'm going to use a black fold over elastic. And so the black fold over elastic is going to finish the raw edge. It's going to give it like a little bit of a pop with the black rayon knit underneath and then the black belt comes across the back. It's the cutest little back in the world. Obviously, I'll show it to you in detail, but that's it. I've cut my back. I've got my fold over elastic. I've done all my contrasting pieces. That becomes garbage. That becomes my back and we're going to go to town. So again, I used two yards of the jacquard, and we've got some amazing fabrics that I just put up. This fabric's been up for a while. I have loved this fabric for forever. I finally am using this fabric, but we've put some other great fabrics up as well. The black rayon is all the time on the site. You guys know I always say you should have 10 yards of black rayon on hand at all times because you use it all the time. And then the contrasting black that I used is this twill black. It's fairly new up. Um, it's a twill, it's just a beautiful fabric. It's, it's, it's a black twill, and we put it up under that black twill. I think it's a black wool twill. But anyway, it's beautiful. So I'm, this makes a trench coat very simple. I'm going to get sewing, and we'll see you in a few minutes. I love it. I know I always do this little dance, and you guys are tired of this dance, but I love it. I just love it, and I know I'll wear it. It's you know, here's all the details. I mean, you've got most of them. There's a few things I'm going to change because in the process, I, I only wanted to do a couple buttons, but I want you to notice that the bottom buttons are narrower and the next set of buttons, I just did a little four double breasted. So your eye goes up and out. You don't want to do them in a square because the eye will stay right in the middle of you. By doing them up and out, it looks so much nicer. I did one little button on my little rain shield there. I love that. The detailing is amazing. Not that it will really show. It's just for me. I loved it. But pick up your black. Do two fabrics. I, you know, I did three fabrics because you want this to be light. You don't want it to be too heavy in the back there. And it's so cute. It's just too cute. And it's such a great copy of the one I saw. I'm telling you guys, I showed you how to do all the details. You're going to save so much money. It's ridiculous. This was so inexpensive. It was so much fun to do. And then with all the money you save, you go out and you buy your over the knee boots because what a great look. So fashion forward and so easy to do. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.